Hello students, today we will study unit number 3 transformers. So in this video we are going to discuss one topic which is connection of three phase transformers. So in this video particularly we are going to understand one connection which is star or you can say YY connection. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time let us start this video. So in previous all videos we have understood about the connection of single phase transformer that we have studied that that in single phase transformer it has one primary winding and it has one secondary winding so similarly in the case of three phase transformer also it has one primary winding and it has one secondary winding but whatever primary and secondary windings are there they may be star connected or they may be delta connected means what that over here i have written star star so star star means what that on the primary side it has three phase star connection and on the secondary side it has again three phase star connection. How? We will understand with the help of the symbols first. So first I will draw star connection. So that is our three phase star connection. After that we have suppose three terminals for uh, three phase. So over here I will say I have B terminal. Then somewhere over here I have C terminal and somewhere over here suppose I have A terminal. Okay. Now with the help of these three terminals we will supply three phase AC voltage to this primary side or primary winding. Okay. How? So for that purpose we will take one line conductor. That line conductor will connect with B terminal like this. So that will be your line conductor BB. Another line conductor will take that will connect with uh, C terminal which is CC. Another line conductor I will take that I will connect with A terminal say AA. Okay. Supposing whatever potential or EMF we are transferring to this primary winding A suppose EP. EP means primary EMF. Okay. Now it has secondary side. Secondary is also star connection. So here I will draw star connection once again. That is three phase star connection. Okay. Again, we have three terminals. Say over here, I will say uh, A terminal. Over here, suppose, okay. Over here, I will take B terminal. Over here, A terminal. And over here, say, uh, we have taken which one? C. So, I will take C terminal and I will take A terminal. So, any name you can write as per your understanding. Okay. After that, these three terminals are connected with what? With connected with output. That three terminals are connected with the load you can see. So over here you will get the output. Okay. Now, then uh, that uh, terminal is connected with line conductor. Say line conductor BB. That is connected with line conductor. Say CC. That terminal is also connected with line conductor. Say AA. Okay. Then we will draw this type of three lines. Which will indicate that... Uh, this transformer or both of the windings are electrically coupled. Electrically coupled means what? That due to the primary winding, whatever AC current is flowing, that AC current will produce what? It will induce the EMF in the secondary side, which is suppose ES with the help of mutual induction process that already we have studied. Okay. Now that is all about the symbolic representation. Now in the transformer actual connections are different than this. They are the symbols only. So now that actual connection we will try to draw. How? So first we will take uh, B terminal. So that will be our B terminal. That is connected with line conductor BB. So I have connected with line conductor BB. That is B is connected with one winding. So B is connected with one winding. Then B is connected with what? That winding is connected with what? Neutral. So over here I will say that is connected with neutral. So first let me complete the neutral line. So that will be our neutral line. Okay. Now next is C. So terminal C is connected with line conductor which is CC that is connected with one winding. So that is connected with one winding. Now that winding is connected with neutral. So that is connected with neutral. Why? Because whole line is what? Our neutral line. Okay. Then next is we have A terminal. So over here I will write A. A terminal is connected with one line conductor which is AA. Now that A is connected with neutral. So first A is connected with winding. So A is connected with winding. And finally it is connected with neutral. So that is all about the primary side. 
Now, same thing we will draw with the secondary side also. Okay. In the secondary side, what we will do? We have one uh, terminal B. That B terminal is connected with line conductor BB. So, I will draw line conductor BB. Line conductor B is connected with what? With neutral. First, B has winding. So, that has one winding that is connected with neutral. So, that is our neutral. So, first, let me draw the neutral line like this. That is our neutral line. So, that is neutral point N. Okay. Next, we have uh, which terminal? C. So, over here, terminal C that is connected with line conductor CC. So, over here, C. C is connected with one winding. So, C is connected with one winding. That C winding is connected with neutral. So, that is our neutral line. Then, last one is A terminal. So, A terminal is connected with line conductor AA. So, that would be our line conductor AA. Now, this A is connected with one winding. So, that is our winding. That winding is connected with neutral. So, that is our neutral line. And after that, over here, we will draw three lines, which will indicate what? Indicate that, that uh, uh, primary and secondary windings are electrically coupled. Okay. So, after this explanation, now after onwards, in your exam, what you can write? So, first point, you can write like that. That this type of connection, whatever connections are there, used for so small capacity and high voltage transformers. Next line is what? That phase voltage becomes VL by root 3. Why? Because that is what star connection. And for star connection, we have derived one equation. What? That all the line voltage current is equals to phase voltage current. But all the line, uh, sorry, all the line current is equals to phase current. But all the line voltages are root 3 into phase voltage. So, we can say what? Uh, uh, all phase voltage becomes that much that means if you want to find out vph so vph will be what vl by root 3 like this okay next is primary phase voltage is vph1 vl1 by root 3 so over here primary side voltage is what vph1 vl1 by root 3 on the secondary side again star connection so it will be of vph2 is equals to vl by vl2 by root 3 and whatever voltage ratio is there that is represented by a which is uh, primary by secondary so that is primary by secondary root 3 root 3 will get cancelled so answer of uh, voltage ratio would be this so now i would like to end this video in the next video we'll understand about the delta delta connections so till then read hard work hard thank you very much